Hello guys, today I will be playing my prison. I'm Luke and I play video games for a living. I'm going to be teaching you the basics of my prison. So if you, you'll see a screen if you press play on Roblox, you'll see a screen and you'll load right here. Your car will be, wait, just. You'll stand here. You'll respawn here and you'll have your building might look different than mine, but that's okay. So, if you're oh, up top here, you will have zero. You'll have zero prisoners and zero dollars. I'll show you how to get prisoners and money. So, first, you're gonna have to get in your car by pressing E and then. Driving is WASD, how you move, or, um, there's gonna be, I think, no, it's, and it's gonna be how you move, it's gonna be how you move in the game, so, you press E on a criminal, or you hold E on a criminal, and you tap hold, and you press hold E, or tap hold in the car, make sure it pulls up, um, make sure it pulls up the, uh, put criminal in the car. Make sure it does pull up, um, make sure it pulls up, put criminal in the car. Make sure it doesn't pull up, um, set. So, you want to come here and you want to go to your door and press release. I already have max prisoners, so I'll have to press release on him. I'll just, um, go down here and so i recommend getting three prisoners so you can get um fifty dollars and when you get fifty dollars you press the button with two white people on it you press workers you'll have guards and you'll have to press the button higher it will cost fifty dollars and five dollars an hour so that would be good, and if you hire um a guard, you'll have to get a desk. So the desk would be go to workers and stuff, and get a wooden desk and place it anywhere you would like. Actually, no, I forgot. So like they already have a desk ready, and like the desk room, which I deleted when I started. When you finish, like, when you get three prisoners and one staff, you wait until you have, like, enough money. What I did when I started, I extended my cells to over there at the end of your plot. This would be grass, like, around here. And ignore this stuff. This would be grass around here. And then... When you get, like, a lot, I recommend switching out your normal bed with a bunk bed, which costs $60. And when you switch it out, you have to, um, I recommend placing three, um, bunk beds in your row on the right side. And, um, I place, I did was I got three people, I mean, three staff. And one staff had their desk in each cell. So that's what I did. Um, but you don't have to. I deleted my desk and I just put them outside the cells. Because I didn't want like, space to be ruined. So you put three um, beds on the right. And you put, I think, six toilets. Well, you don't have to put six toilets, like, you can put three, you can get away with it. I have 12 prisoners right now, and you can get away by putting three toilets. You might have a sink when you start off. You can go ahead and delete the sink. If you delete your sink, and it would, sinks don't matter, lockers. I don't really care about them. 
and you'll be wondering why does my car only hold one person at a time if you go in build mode and you go to the vehicles there's different cars if you have a different car i recommend not wasting your money on cars unless you like you get a bigger base a bigger prison because if you waste it it's not gonna be good so so don't waste it so first car cost three thousand dollars which took me a while to get anyway so I learned this method from another guy on YouTube, which I'll put their caption in the top right. So, as you can see, you can have a successful prison. When you have your successful prison, you can keep on placing beds. I'll show you. You can expand. You. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. You need to have as much showers as as much prisoners you have. It's so like, let's say you have five prisoners. You need five showers. Let's say...